right now we're running in with the issue of uh, leaves from the fall. It could clog your your uh, catch basins up and cause possible flooding in the street and roadways. And it's close to winter time. And if that happens, it could freeze, and it's going to cause issues if we don't uh, properly maintain the catch basins. This is our MSD catch basin atlas index. So this this right here is our maps. This pretty much basically shows us exactly where each basin is that we maintain in that area. There's 37 pages on this. Some are over 100. The machine that we use, it's pretty much a single axle dump truck with a, a knuckle boom on it, a claw or clam. That's what we clean the basins with on a daily basis, day to day. My message to the people the, that are cleaning their leaves up right now, Please do not uh, rake them towards the catch basin or in the catch basin because it will cause issues. Well, in the fall when it rains, we usually have a lot of complications to the plant's operations due to leaves. But once the leaves enter the Morris Foreman plant, then we have to deal with them on this end. We have to actually remove them from the system, then we have to remove them from the site. Our major problems usually begin uh, with the first, what we call the first flush. And that's after the, the leaves have fallen to the ground and entered the collection system. That very first rain usually creates a challenge for us here at Morris Foreman. And the challenge usually is uh, clogging of our bar screens. Our mechanical bar screens at Morris Foreman are used to remove trash from the influent flow. Usually when the, in, the first influx of leaves enter the plant, it's just the, the, the amount of leaves. It just overtakes the capacity of our bar screens. We have problems with clogging in our chutes and then that creates a lot of mechanical issues. We have our, our bar screens jamming and stopping. We usually have waste management luggers that we uh, put in our trash bay like a big long dumpster. And we usually feel one lugger probably takes about a week. But with that first influx of leaves we can actually feel say 10 luggers in a, in a single day, five luggers at least in one shift. So it creates just a capacity issues and mechanical issues. Anything that enters, that can enter the sewer will end up at your treatment plant. <laughs> and, at, and on this end, it just creates other issues for us. Uh, extra costs, extra manpower, uh, it can damage our equipment, so re repairs to our equipment. So just suggest that everybody be careful about what enters the sewer system.